welcome back to what is possibly the finale of Miss Terry Tale. The, the final finale. The final episode of us saying it'll be the finale. I, I mean, it, it's really looking like like there's not a lot else to do. Yeah, we're, we're so close. He was like, this is the last day. I feel like two days ago. Well, that, I, th I think it doesn't, like, it's not on a day-by-day -day basis, but it's more like a like a six-hour basis sort of thing, where it's just like he, he lets you know every six hours and stuff like that. That's really creepy. Yeah. That's, it's, that's pretty creepy. It's pretty messed. Yeah. Um. So we're trying to find a toilet tissue. Riveting gameplay. <laughs> Hiking shoe. <laughs> and little robot dudes. Hell yeah. Uh, what's a grenadine? Tastes like beer and grenadine. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Yeah, I have no clue. Uh, is it that thing over in the bottom right? <laughs> is it the beer? No. no. Okay. Oh, oh already then. That's apparently the beer and grenadine. All right. Well, that works. <laughs> oh, man, spaceship. Man, this dude would name his cat Buzz. Yeah, seriously. Bite year? No. Alright. I feel like I said that before. Yeah. No, I mean, like, yeah, though. Like, that's that's literally the joke. Goat, goat skin flask? No, I know. I'm oh, that's what this is. It had banana on the thing, and I thought that's what that was. Huh. But uh, it turns out it's a goat skin flask, apparently. There's another one of those situations where it's like, satellite, and it's like, which one? Yeah, there's so many of them. You have so much random shit in your in your room. Yeah. Iron mosquito. A an mouse. An actual mouse. And a real-ass goddamn mouse. Like a dead mouse just on your floor there. Oh, plastic soldiers on top of the TV, right above the notebook. Thank you. There you go. I found that a while ago, and I was just like, this will probably be relevant. Um... There's one of those funky robots. We gotta find two more of those funky little robot dudes. Ugh. One more. All I right. feel like out of all games, this is the worst thing to start with, because it really does not give you a lot to work with, other than just look saying you're looking for stuff. Yeah, that's why this is our first series, not our, like, tenth. Uh... True, 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 true. Alright. Um, we gotta find the bottle of pills. There's the bottle of pills. A popcorn cup. We gotta cup. find the bottle of pills. A popcorn cup? Oh, yep. wow. Show me the last little robot. Or the hiking chair. Oh. Now no, you no, show me no. the last okay. little robot. There we go. That works. We did it! All right. Yeah, I hope this... Photograph time. I really hope this game has a good ending. Because it seems like it would have a bad ending. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, no, it, it, has, a, it has a good ending. A That's really good. good ending, honestly. Hell yeah. Oh, dang it. Clicked on the wrong It's one. fully animated. Yeah. It, it just turns into, like, a feature film. Yeah, exactly. You're, like, you're, like holding a gun at the, like, dude who you, you find, who's you who been blackmailing you, and you... <laughs> <laughs> Tell me where if the this, dog is. You if this game, bitch. If this game ends in murder, I will be beyond happy. <laughs> Well, Montgomery is not my man, though he was an ideal suspect, since he thinks Jason killed his cat. But then, this plane ticket proves that he wasn't here when Jason disappeared. It's a reunion of ex-astronauts, which certainly never took off. <laughs> Maybe it was the porters. Could someone in their home have drugged the dog with Mama's sleeping pills? Perhaps it was the triplets, playing doctor. Perhaps it was Susanna or the parents. Are they coming for them? I read that wrong. Poor Jason drugged with Sleepo Drex. Sleepo Rex. Sleepo Rex. <laughs> or maybe it's Wilson. Maybe he supplements his incoming in his income by kidnappings. Or by blackmailing those who receive compromising letters. With all the skeletons in the closet here, Wilson would be spoiled for choices. Still, I must admit the Kingsleys attract envy. And what if Abigail simply did all this for some extra attention? And what about Brandon? I get the feeling that he, Jason's disappearance doesn't affect him much. 
uh, yeah, a, a dog is appearing from the neighborhood doesn't like affect like other neighbors like a ton. Well, that's that's like, the husband your dog? Of, the, of the woman whose dog got kidnapped. It's just like, oh yeah, the, it doesn't seem to affect him much, even though it was his dog too. I stand corrected. What a crazy neighborhood. Hopefully things don't get too serious. This guy who keeps ringing my doorbell has me spooked. I don't dare go out during the day. Wait, hold on. You're going out exclusively in the night? Yeah, that's weird. It hasn't been nighttime whenever we've visited these places. Yeah, every single scene is in the day. Yeah. What the fuck? Okay, Monty. What the hell is? If I were you, I'd pay them another visit. Yes. But there's a guy at my Even door and he's you. scary. You have been great so far. Don't disappoint me now. I won't. What's, what's your motive in this? What are you getting out of this? Scaring me? Why are you doing this? There's no reason you should be doing this! What the fuck are you? Who are you? Where are you living? Oh, Why? No. Why any this of this? Is... Oh, oh boy. Okay. Let's do this. CD. Diskette. <laughs> Cocktail. Is it the female version of disc? That was what I was thinking too. I was just like, no, that would be stupid. I shouldn't say that. Where's, where's the game I pad? I screamed again. I just didn't pick it up. Ah, uh, dang it. A diskette? That's so dumb. Man, my favorite meal to have after a long day of work is diskette. My favorite meal is li lizard. What? What the fuck? No oh, lizard. <laughs> a bullet. F find the bullet. And put it in the gun. Point the gun. Kill at a your triplet. <laughs> kill, kill a triplet. All he has it coming. <laughs> kill a triplet. Kill the second one. Kill the third one. Alright, gamepad, gamepad, gamepad. Where is the video game? Show me where the video game is in this program. God damn it, this game gives me the yawns every time. Yeah. <laughs> the more we play this game, the more I realize maybe it's not all that great, and I was just a kid when I played it. I mean, that's probably what a lot of games are. Yeah. I'm hoping my game holds up to uh, my old... Uh, my old expectations. Uh, I feel like it will, honestly. Yeah, probably. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, uh, a cocktail? Yeah. Help, help me with cock. those peepers. Ha ha. Ha I gotta find a cocktail, <laughs> and I gotta find a game pad, and I gotta find a chess piece. And all after finding the evidence that absolves this person of any guilt. R really? Yeah. That's stupid. I just found a thing that was like, oh yeah, no. The, like, all the sleeping pills that were unaccounted for are now accounted for, so that means that she didn't do use those on the dog. It's so dumb. But I guess that's not enough for Miss Terry Tail. God damn it. This fucking guy in the weird computer that only displays an email, apparently. Give me pizza. P as easy. A. I want pizza. Man, what this is peak commentary. I want <clears throat> pizza. You can't eat pizza. Alright. Yep. Yeah, no, <laughs> uh, a Viking headpiece? Uh, oh. Yep, oh, yeah. there we go. <clears throat> that was easy. Yeah, it was super duper easy that I haven't seen there before. Alright, uh, guys. <laughs> oh, here's the toothbrush, and. Ah, oh, hell there's yeah. Just the game Where's piece left. the gamepad? Oh. It was on the grill. Well, that was dumb. Yeah. All right. But this is this is it. This is gonna be it. All right. We're gonna we're gonna destroy this game. We are going to bash kick this in the game windows. Right in the dick. Bowling right pin, the... skateboard, and a banknote. Right in the dick. <coughs> Show me pin. the bowling pin. Show me the bowling pin. 
uh, hey, hey, um, yeah, uh, hey, uh, um, yeah, uh, yeah, what is it? An iguana with a collar and a matching leash. I guess Abby's not the only one with expensive tastes in pets. However, considering how posh everything else was at Wilson's house, I probably shouldn't be surprised. Shut the fuck up. You're like, you're, you're not. Anyway, Toad. Like, you're also not a good person. You're, you're, you're fucking yeah. going into other people's houses and stealing their shit. I also that, like, like that she's documenting her madness. Like, yeah, no, I went peeping everywhere and honestly, it was really, really fun. I'm worried. This is not normal. Yeah, exactly. Like she even realizes it, but she's like, eh, well, you know, there's a dog in danger. It's like her documenting herself slowly getting addicted to crack. Dagger's mm. behind that fence post in the, in the middle. Oh, boy. That's a big dagger. That's like a, it's that's a like the boy. world's largest dagger. That, yeah, that like, that's not a regular dagger. That's like a, there's like fucking bow staff of a handle. That's like as big as a small tree. What the fuck? Yeah. Something. I love not to imagine around here. I love to imagine you in the middle of the night, just lugging that over your shoulder back to your home, and being yeah. like, "This is fine. They probably I, I, won't notice." I think it's infinitely. It, it, I, I think it's also hilarious to imagine like, the victim appears to have been stabbed by a knife. Surely a knife couldn't can't have left a, a wound that large. No, no, no. The world's largest knife. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> the knife. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, Aiden, look. So dumb. It belongs in a museum. Aiden, look. Yeah. Da, 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 da. <laughs> fucking, you're so. <laughs> what a bad joke. What a. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I think I need to quit the channel, dude. No! I, I don't know if I can do this anymore. This is barely our sixth episode. <laughs> this is, I think, the sixth episode is what made me crack. Is it number six? I think this is number seven. This is number seven. Yeah. This is number seven. Alright. Now all that's left is the Kingsleys. Which I feel bad about because I can never tell them apart from well, literally anybody else. We're almost there. Whoa! We gotta find close hangers. Alright, we're once Got again in the weirdly, bear. like, charged bedroom of the dog owner. I, don't, I really don't know what we're looking for. Why would, like, she kidnap this, her own dog? This bedroom is so kinky. It <laughs> is. And I'll, there's, like, way too many pictures of dogs in it just looking at you while yeah. you're doing the deed i yeah i'm i'm not into it I, i'm not into it i'm glad they are though i mean i mean live to your fullest extent yeah you know like live happily and stuff but like i am in your house and it's freaking me out if you like to be watched by dogs while you fornicate i'm a, uh, am I'm, I'm sure you you can do that well, what's also weird is that in the bedfold here, there's, like, the impression of what might have once been a cat mm -hmm. sleeping here. That's worrying. Yeah, it is very... And they also have a grappling hook on their ceiling, which you it just have to creepy. wonder, is that a... Is that related to the other stuff we've seen, or...? Uh, that's one of the kinks. It's one of them. She gets a little bit adventurous, if you know what I mean. It just shows, like, a picture of her, just, like, with a grappling hook in hand, just... <laughs> yeah, exactly. So <laughs> weird. All right. A, tr a tambourine, a clothespin, and a cutting board. Uh, oh, man. It's like that... It's... I feel like th this entire game is just that, um... Uh, that amazing world of gumball episode where there's the character that's just like he keeps doing like, weird threats where it's like it's gonna be like, it's gonna be you me a mouse strap and a stick of butter and it's just <laughs> and and then he, at the end of the episodes he reveals that his tactic is just saying three random objects and letting them imagine what he's gonna do with those objects <laughs> but him and it's the stupidest thing <laughs> 
<laughs> but it's gonna be you, me, a battery, a clothespin, and a pair of glasses. <laughs> <laughs> What's gonna happen? What, what, what are you gonna use the glasses for? <laughs> you don't wanna know. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> I've never watched Gumball before, but now I wish it's, I had. It's such a stupid episode. I don't I have I don't really watch Gump, Gumball either, but that episode is just so strange and I love it. Oh my god. Uh It's going to be you, me, a battery, a clothes pin and a pair of glasses. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be you. What me, are you going to use the battery for? Yeah. <laughs> You'll find out. <laughs> No, sir, where the frick, where, where is everything? Where is everything? Where to go? This is it. This is, it's, I don't uh... fucking know. Dude, we only have 39 minutes. Oh, no. That was the jerkiest place to hide those glasses. What a douche. Pizza. Bam. Pizza. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Pizza, 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 pizza. Oh, God. What the fuck am I doing with my life? We're, we're slowly going insane playing this game. Oh, yeah. I spy with my little eye a loss of sanity. Yeah. Ah, there's the battery. <laughs> I spy with my little eye a surging amount of bloodlust. <laughs> An ever-growing amount of bloodlust. Yeah, an insurmountable. When I was uh, when rage. I was having dinner with my folks the other the other day, um, I was uh, I, I pronounced Dungeons and Dragons like Dungeons and Dragons, um, and it cracked them up. <laughs> Wait, you mean to tell me there's dungeons and dragons? Yeah. Uh, why why do they always Incredible. get a call whenever I'm at their house? That's worrying. I, I What if I pick what if I pick it up and it's just the dude like, "How's your search going?" He's just like, "Ah." It's that would be so cr Oh god, I would hate that. <laughs> that would be What if it like what if this game turned into like a horror game? It deserves like, to be. Through? It deserves to do that. It's like, you found like, the dog, but at what cost? There's like a different, there's like a different version of each map, of like this map where like it's dark and then all the windows are closed and it's like, find the five keys to get out of the house before it floods. Or, or even like worse, you, you, you like hear another scream in the night or whatever, you go over here, it's like completely dark. And then you just like, like in the corner over here or something like right down here, you see a shattered window and like blood. Like, yeah, exactly. There's like a different version where it's night and there's like blood and shit. Uh, it's, it's like it's I like, honestly it's think like like a broken body. It's like find all seven missing teeth. I honestly <laughs> think so a, hor a horror I Spy game is like it just has not been capitalized on yet. I I used to the, one of the I Spy games I played as a kid um, was a uh, it was like a haunted mansion one. Oh, I so remember was, that one. Yeah, it was. It's good. not scary so much as it is just kind of like cheesy and, and like... no it is creepy i remember that game being really good and it probably wasn't <laughs> come in if you dare you're in for a scare like anyone that's rhyming at you is not like they're, they're not yeah. gonna end up killing you if they put them on yeah i, I guess that's true you, you know what you're right if you're rhyming, uh, unless you're in you're the guy who didn't like musicals <laughs> That's... Yeah, I guess that's true, yeah. If they're rhyming, that means you're definitely going to die. Oh, and that, that, that is a sick-ass musical. It really is. Check out the guy who doesn't like musical. Yeah. We're going to give them a shout-out because we're more popular. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, Tonight, they're going to... it's going to be gonna... you, me, an African mask, a medal, and a wrench. <laughs> <laughs> What's, what's the African mask going to be for? <laughs> Honestly, I thought you were going to ask about the wrench, but... <laughs> oh, no, I, I know what you use the wrench for. The wrench is going up your bum bum. <laughs> <laughs> I have to warn you, it's extremely rusty and it's never been washed. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the African mask? Tetanus is almost guaranteed. <laughs> Cool. Right. Anyways, uh, rolling pin. Where's the glasses? Where's my glasses? 
My glasses. My glasses. Remember old Scooby-Doo? Old Scooby-Doo was the best. Old Scooby-Doo was the best. <laughs> Here you go, Ugly. Why don't you go buy yourself a new face? <laughs> Fucking Shaggy. <laughs> You Shaggy just... is absolutely the stoner of the group. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. If 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 you had to choose one member of those of those four wacky kids to date, it would be Shaggy, because he's uh... just like the best one of them. I also love the memes that it's like, wow, impressive. You made me use one percent of my power. <laughs> but it's just fucking Shaggy from Scooby Doo. Sh Shaggy canonically becomes a Yellow Lantern. Like in the DC comics or whatever, there's like a like a crossover event because the Yellow Lanterns are like the opposite of the Green Lanterns, where Green Lanterns is will and Yellow Lanterns is fear. They use their fear for things, and they're usually villains. But Shaggy and Scooby are just they're always terrified of everything all the time, and so they use their they're, they're like super duper powerful Yellow Lanterns. Are you kidding me? That's <laughs> yeah. actually a thing that happened. Yeah. Holy fuck! That's so. That's funny. amazing. That's hilarious. <laughs> like I'm gonna send you to the Shadow Realm, man. <laughs> I'm gonna send you to the Shadow Realm, Scoob. How weird. God, that's so strange. <laughs> it's the best. I love it. Where's glasses? It's pretty good. Where the fuck is everything? Oh, here's glasses. Also, how long has this episode gone on? It has gone on 20 minutes. Okay, we're good. We're good. Thimbalina. Is this a finale? I yeah. think it might be the finale. Wow. Bam! Hopefully, man, That's not a camera from on. my era, so I, I feel like I can't be held accountable for not. I mean, I guess that's true, yeah. Sorry, you were saying something I stepped over it. I just got indignant yeah, about uh, the camera. I'm I'm uh, I'm pretty mad, honestly, dude. I'm sorry. I'm 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 pretty pretty pissed. Dude, you're making too much noise. What happens if I if my timer runs out? You know, like what happens? Do you do we want to wait thirty three minutes? No, I don't. 23, 22 seconds. Uh, thimble. I mean, uh, we can do that if you really want. No. <laughs> wait, what the? So in this episode, oh, we were waiting long metal. enough to figure out what happens when you die. I thought that was a microphone. All right, this is it. This has to be it. People One ask, more often piece ask of me. evidence. People often ask me. Dong of Ding Dong Gaming. What happens when you die? You get donged. <laughs> Two new innocent people. The port of sleeping pills were not used to drug the dog, and I can't see any reason that they might want to kidnap Jason. I forget to add a space in between used and two. <laughs> yeah. Wilson is also innocent. It seems like he uses his leash to walk some kind of old iguana that smells of B.O. and answers to the gentle name of Hoover. Really, I had thought it was Jason's leash. It seems I'm running out of suspects. I wonder if I shouldn't pay another visit to the Douglases. I feel like feet in my room. Dazzling progress. The noose is tightening. It's about time. The noose is oh, tightening. Oh, you were mm. attentive. I'm sure you know where to go now. That's not great. Let's move it. Yes, that's right. To the Douglas residence. Motherfucker. All right. It's time. To die. What? One place left. Oh boy. This really is the finale. They're pulling out all the stops. Yeah, seriously. Man, what ribbing gameplay. Five, three, five, six. Picking locks. Five, three, five, seven. Five. Yeah. Five, three, five, eight. I love Hell that too. Yeah. It's pretty it's pretty fantastic. All right, it's time to find an egg beater. Back where we started. It's gonna be you, me, and Egg Beater, a pair, and a car, and a clapperboard. <laughs> What's a, a clapperboard? Clapper board? What is a clapperboard? You know, I actually think what I, I know what a clapperboard is. Um, yeah. It's, it's when like you're doing a movie. It's like that. It's like it, you, you're like, all right, take one. That's a clapperboard. Oh, nice. Hell yeah, that makes sense. It's gonna be you, why me, and Egg Beater, why is a pair, home? and scissors. This <laughs> is it. You, me, a pair, and a pair of scissors. <laughs> Get it, a pair, and a pair. <laughs> Get it? Because they're the same word, dude. It's funny. It's pretty good, man. Thanks, man. Hey, there's the pair. Yeah. All right. Paint and paintbrush. Full can of paint in the recycling bin, but what's it doing there? 
Who could tell? Alright, ashtray. Show me your hands, show me those jazz hands. Uh, shaving razor? <clears throat> Where could it be? As opposed to all those other kinds of razors. Hmm. Uh. <laughs> yeah, uh, as opposed to all the different kinds of razors. Sorry, I just completely blacked out for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> Can you paint with all the razors of the wind? What? So. Okay. <laughs> uh, chameleons in the top left, in the flowers. Thank you very much. Yeah! 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 I did it. Alright. It's gonna be you, me, I an egg beater, a feather, and an ashtray. This is so god, an ashtray. <laughs> I don't wanna know what happens with the ashtray. Is Here. that just gonna be a joke from now on? Whenever we see three <laughs> random items, it's just like it's, it's just so you, good. Me, I love it. it. <laughs> it's really funny, honestly. <laughs> I hope it's funny to other people, but because it's too. funny to us. Uh, roll of film is on the on the garbage can. Uh. The picture that's on it. Uh. The front of it. Dude. Oh. <laughs> that. My man, <laughs> my dude. Oh, it's just like garbage can, garbage can, garbage can. Oh, it's on. It's the picture that's on. And it. there's the ashtray, in the garbage can. The first time anything's actually been where it's supposed to be. Now where's the ashtray? All right, there's the egg beater. Hell yeah, dude, we did it. We got all the clues. Of course, the culprit is. Me. It's the Douglases. Rocking what? chair. Shirt. Buffet. Where's, what's the buffet? I don't know. What the, is it this? No. Wow, this is really empty. It's kind of creepy, honestly. Ah, there's the buffet. All right. You said you said you wanted a cool thing where you just remove everything from the room. That's the finale of this. Really? Oh yeah. Wow. I'm not making too much noise. I'm just removing everything from their house. Dog portraits down the do bottom right. This is really easy. Wow. Stairs? How do I remove the stairs, you wonder? That's a good question. It's gonna be you, me, a rifle, handgun, and dry leaves. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Where are dry leaves? Oh. Good question. <laughs> I, I mean, That's I understand not the a rifle handgun. and the handgun. I understand the rifle and the handgun, but like dry leaves? What are you gonna do with those? Fish. Lafayette. Me, you, me, fish, Lafayette, basket and a chair. basket chair. <laughs> <laughs> How dumb. You, and me, and Steve, and Stu, and Mark, and Layton, and, and Chad. Chad. <laughs> and Chad. <laughs> Well, he says Chad is the best part. He just gets so into it. Yeah. Tonight, it's gonna be you and me, a bamboo door, a clock, and a pedestal table. <laughs> so weird. So you're just fuck like fucking looting their house because they did it? I'm trying to find the dog. Oh. An etched An stone. Etch an etched stone, a leopard skin, a mirror. Oh, so you're moving everything to find the dog? Yep. Oh, got it. That's interesting. <laughs> wow. Oh, let me just remove. <laughs> Fuck it. Removes your fireplace. <laughs> Unfires your place. <gasps> there he is! There's the doggo! Jason, hidden here and painted orange? So it's Eliza who did the deed. Looks like her jealousy of Abigail pushed her to the unthinkable unthink theft and visual marring of an already ugly dog. No! They painted her orange! Who does that? That's so fucked! Here's the latest news from Peking Town. Reading the local newspaper is always an edifying experience. Let's actually do it. Alright. Acting on a tip from Miss Terry's Hill, hell? Sheriff Allen went immediately to question the Douglas couple. He, finding that they were not home, he did what any law enforcement agent would do in this critical situation. He let himself in. What he found was the surprise of his life. 
their home security system. Yeah. <laughs> he was immediately shot by 17 poison darts right in the face. <laughs> I went into the Douglas home because and, and so Douglas, Douglas home because because of the gravity of the situation and there in a corner behind the boxes was Jason. He was a total mess and trembling but alive. Sheriff Allen was thus able to return Jason to his owner who was yet again in tears. Yet again. The handover happened yeah. amongst the neighbors who had come to and see what was happening. I must say that Miss Tail was of great help, admitted the policeman. She immediately sprang into action and spared no effort to resolve the tragedy which had plunged Peking Town into, into a gloom. When asked about it, Miss Terry Tail was evasive. It's nothing, really. I'm sure anyone would have done the same thing I did. <laughs> Alyssa Douglas was taken into custody by the sheriff while Priscilla Parker... Parker Balls escorted Ab Abby and Jason to Karma Pets, Inc. for an urgent shampoo, the poor dog having been painted orange. Tyron Douglas has refused to make any declaration, and his wife's attorney, Mr. Lewis, would only say that all of this has nothing to do with the forthcoming elections. There is nothing to declare as long as the case is under investigation. Oh, boy. The Mazakazu has set up an impromptu celebration in the street. It's a brochette recipe that is traditionally done with dog meat, but we have adapted it to local game. The burrowing beaver is very tender. Parker Balls is what MJ wishes you get her hands on. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. After an hour, the sheriff returned with Alyssa, <laughs> Abby, and a clean and trembling Jason in a terry towel. A terry towel? <laughs> a terry towel. We finally have Thanks. the explanation of this ugly business, said to the sheriff. When he started to speak, it quickly became quiet. First of all, Abigail Kingsley has decided not to press charges because Jason is alive. Alyssa Douglas was qu questioned to release. She's lucky to have such a neighbor as Mrs. Kingsley. Here are the details Aww. we can share. All right. Oh, this picture did of her dog. Aw, yay! I'm we not gonna read the rest the of this. Whatever. As Abby shined her first real smile in a week with Jason gently in her arms, this reporter could feel the general sense of unease and tension lifting from Peking Town. In its place was a swelling feeling of a good mood and a town ready to celebrate. The sun once again rises on Peking Town. E except or that. Or does it? Or does it? For now. This bitch. What? Say, all is well. You know what's funny? Your supermarket in town didn't waste any time. The Jason bean products have been on the shelves for three days now. It looks like the public loves this little orange dog. Jason's a star. Well, now that your job is done, and Jason has gone home, I shall leave you in peace. Uh, <laughs> but now, sure. I'll see you soon, Miss. There was actually a sequel to this game, but it was not very good. We have to play it at some point. <laughs> at some point, yeah, sure. Just, uh, yeah, so, at some point. Alright. There's one last bonus stage after this. No. <laughs> I got no. a response from my publisher. He's thrilled with my new novel, Where is Jason? He's been the one desperately ringing my do He's been the one desperately ringing my doorbell. Oh, and a Hollywood producer already wants the rights to make a film. <laughs> what a great town. Much better than New York. I'm sure I won't have problems of inspiration here. Thanks to my new friends what? Abigail, Alyssa, and Montgomery. Yeah, that's all over. Maybe I should invite my neighbors over for a meal, if only to get to know them better by actually talking to them. After all the fuss, I think it's time I stop by and do some shopping at the new what? bazaar. Is the, is the movie just gonna be about you breaking into people's houses? Is that what the movie's gonna be out? Because that's what happened. Here's the epilogue. Oh god. <laughs> oh god, no. Unlimited clovers and time. Wow, incredible. <laughs> How. Okay, it's just 12 items. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, we're not gonna be clearing out the teapot. entire store. Oh my god, if we have to clear the entire store, it's gonna be a fucking. That would be a fucking nightmare. Yeah. So, what did, what did you think of Where's Jason? As we're listening to this jazzy tune. Uh, I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, I, I shit on it a lot, because it was not a, it was not the greatest of games, but it was enjoyable. Yeah. Um, I had a good time with my good friend, uh, and, uh, it, it did have an interesting storyline about all of them. You couldn't really tell who was who, who, like, who did it. Yeah. Um, there were a lot of guns, though. Like, a lot of guns. Yeah, it, this... This game, I feel like it's got a cool concept, but like the concept was used in such a strange way. 
Yeah. Um. It was it was very weird all the way through. Yeah. Um. <laughs> but uh, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed complaining, or, or not necessarily complaining, <laughs> mocking but uh, relentlessly mocking and complaining. Uh, sh- sure. Uh, but also just all the weird things, right? Like, like the brain in a jar that never got explained. You no, know, that was like, an alien fucking... in a jar. Yeah, that's what I meant. And like the grenades and the explosives and all the guns and shit. Like... Yeah, a detonator. Yeah, there's a detonator in one of the houses. There's a full ass grenade. Yeah, it was, uh, uh. It was very strange. I hope, uh, I hope Creepy. I hope Creepy Edward is, I think, is his name. Yeah. Creepy Edward. I think creepy. I hope creepy Ed. Uh, I hope he makes it big as a mu- as a musician, like a rock star. Yeah, I, I really uh, feel I like this, the soundtrack is where this game shines. It's very nice. Um, I hope that creepy Ed goes on to one day uh, start the uh, worst version of My Chemical Romance. <laughs> <laughs> you got a bit. Yeah. My Chemical Pet Guinea Pig. My chemical pet guinea pig. <laughs> terrible. Oh uh, my gosh. Alright, bottle opener. Yeah. Uh, I will say it was also nice that like parts of the scenes were animated. It's something I haven't seen a lot in nice Spy games. Yeah, usually it's silence and stuff, but... Uh... Yeah. I, I like an environment that looks like a, like a lo-fi. Like a... Yeah, lo-fi. everything was very lo-fi, which was nice. Oh, there's another diary entry to end things off. Alright. I think this thing with Jason might have infected me. I can't seem to stop thinking about plots and cigarettes. In any case, I'm sure, to, I'm sure I'm on to a new mystery. Last night, Abigail sold the vacant house between her and the, and the porters. Of course, by itself, there's nothing to write about. After all, it's great living in Peking Town. Aha! 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 <laughs> what? The strange thing is that I asked her to keep by us. She avoided the subject. She changed the topic to, to, to Jason and went on to buy her John's amazing ability to recover his, from his traumatic abduction ordeal. Sooner with the unspoken mystery. What could it be that bothers poor Abigail so much? She has been an amazingly good spirit since the return of Jason and receiving the economic <laughs> windfall from the endorsement deal. <laughs> what could be so insulting that she has to hide it? Who is the new owner? I love how you slowly just shifted <laughs> from like a teenage girl into like cranberries. Cranberries. I love it. Why keep in touch with Peking Town? Watch out for the next episode of Mystery Tale. Mystery Tale. <laughs> Bye, guys.